Hi to everyone! We are in St. Petersburg. This is one of my favorite cities. Now we are going to look for a place to have dinner, while you look at the room tour of our hotel. So, our hotel is located in the city center in an old mansion. And now we will see together how it was rebuilt. Now you see how the entrances in the old houses of St. Petersburg look like, but there they are called Paradne. The hotel is designed in loft style. The decor here is made in the British style. Now we will take the elevator to our floor and look at the room. Look at the unusual buttons in the elevator. We need the top floor. And here we are. And here is the fifth floor. We live. Look what a fun corridor. My favorite yellow doors. Let's find our room now. And here is our little cozy room in the attic. Let's uh, get to know it better. It's also made in the loft style. But the highlight of the room is its view. This is a former factory, rebuilt in a loft style in the creative space. I really love loft space. By the way, you can sit on the window sill and drink tea. Oh, look, there are workspaces everywhere, you can spy on creative people. This room is $100 per night. It's small, but every detail is thought out. There is a refrigerator, a small safe, a TV and folding table. Very beautiful interior. I especially like the doors and window sill. There is not enough closet, because I really like clothes. This number is more suitable for people who have few things. The bathroom is small, but quite comfortable and very warm. Everything you need is here. I really love the city very, very much. It's beautiful at any time of the year. Recent years in St. Petersburg warmer than usual. In winter there are often positive temperatures. We decided to go to a chain restaurant that was opened here many years ago. It's inexpensive and young people love it. Excellent breakfasts and business lunches. But it's also good for dinner. If you're in St. Petersburg, I advise you to look here. I think it's hard how we always wait another day. They have a very varied menu and we're very hungry. So, we ordered a large plate of sausage. It goes great with beer and focaccia with garlic and tomatoes and roast beef in truffle sauce. Oh, it's really delicious! I also decided to try tuna tartar in avocado sauce with cucumbers and strawberries. It's a very unusual and delicious combination. Well, and assorted of my favorite bruschetta. After dinner you want to walk around this beautiful city, despite the fact that it snows all evening. This is the main square of St. Petersburg, Palace Square. A huge number of tourists visit this place every year. And this is the Hermitage. Those who are fond of art of course heard about this place. It's one of the largest fine art museums in the world. Such a spring in St. Petersburg. All the parks are covered in snow, but the weather changed quickly here. 
everything melts in a few weeks. And trees will also quickly turn green and flowers will bloom in city parks. And we almost came home. We say goodbye to you tomorrow. Hi! Today we will go to the street art exhibition dedicated to Banksy. Look how much snow is on the roads, around giant snow drifts. I hope we get there and don't break anything. It's a very weird place. It's like a bit of the past. But it turns out it's very popular with local young people. There are often events and exhibitions. There is also an observation deck on the top floor. Actually, now we will see for ourselves. Unfortunately, there is no lift here. Maybe there is, but we didn't find it. By the way, the inside is nice, pretty nice space, much better than the steps to eat. So, let's all go to the exhibition. Art never stands still. It is constantly evolving, gives rise to all new directions and styles that are necessary and relevant for each corresponding period of human life. The present time has given us such an amazing form of art as street art. Banksy is the first name that comes to mind at the mention of street art, and today we will look at the history of his work. Thanks to the acute social themes of his work, Banksy changed the perception of the world community about street art. Concisely, clearly and intelligibly, he singles out the emotional component from any story, forcing the audience to empathize. Banksy is an anonymous character, no one knows who he is, but he is popular and loved, people trust him. If you have something to say to people and you want them to hear you, wear a mask says the artist himself. We like the exhibition very much. It's made in street style and contains a lot of interesting information. I am very glad we came here. Good morning. We wake up so late that we have to look for a cafe with round-the-clock breakfasts. I hope we succeed now. By the way, note that it's now 5 p.m. There is no sun in St. Petersburg, but at the same time, it's quite light. Perhaps this is due to low-rise buildings. Look at those huge icicles. They scare me. It's really scary that it can fall on your head. They are on almost all houses in St. Petersburg. We decided to go to such a small cozy cafe with round-the-clock breakfasts. The interior of the cafe is very unusual, artistic. Already in the afternoon you can feel the romantic atmosphere here. Candles are placed around and there are many paintings. The menu is quite varied, but I decided to order Russian cheesecakes, which are called Sirniki in Russia because I haven't eaten them for a long time. If you want Russian sirniki, come here. Here they are made from tofu. It's really very delicious. In general, you can have breakfast here at night, if you wish, of course. Or the cheese and egg sandwiches or scrambled eggs. Now we are ready for a long walk. I propose to go together to the observation deck in Isaac's Cathedral and look at St. Petersburg from above. Now there are many very tall buildings in St. Petersburg and you can look at the city from the 30th or 40th floor. But this particular view is unique. It takes your breath away and makes your 
hard beat. If you are planning to visit St. Petersburg, then be sure to look into either cathedral and visit the observation deck, you will not regret it. I'll show you a little of what the cathedral looks like inside. Today has come to an end, and we are going home to continue our journey around St. Petersburg tomorrow. Now we are heading to the Church of Savior on Blood. This is the most beautiful temple in St. Petersburg. This temple was erected on the site where the Russian Emperor Alexander II was killed. 25 years ago, an event took place that the whole city had been waiting for so long. The restoration of the temple was completed. Now it's scary to imagine the city without this amazing architectural object. The second time the fate of the temple hung in the balance during the Second World War. One of the shells even got stuck in the vault of the central tent. But it didn't explode and lay there until 1961. The entire temple is decorated from the inside with mosaic images, the restoration of which took the restores a lot of time, a total of about 14 years. Thanks to the selfless work of restorers, today we can admire this miracle of architecture. And now I invite you to take a little walk around the snowy St. Petersburg and admire this city. Today is Kirill's birthday. Let's congratulate him on this wonderful day and go together to celebrate in a very unusual restaurant. And here is the restaurant itself. It's called Buddy, and you should definitely visit it. Why? Now see it for yourself. The menu is so unusual and varied that the eyes run wide. For starters, we decided to order seafood dishes. Look at this! This is a scallop with cranberries. Oh, it's really very cool! It's a very good place to celebrate a birthday, I think. Here, serving dishes is like a little show. Look at this miracle, it's a chocolate egg paid. 
and the neck in a duck. Everything is like in Russian fairy tales. Let's cut open the egg and see what it looks like inside. And paint inside. Great! I wanted to try a duck with sweet potato puree and whipped Philadelphia cheese. I almost swallowed my tongue. It's so delicious. And this is a beef stroganoff served in duck bread with mashed potatoes and brine. You must try it. Today we have just a celebration of the stomach. This is beef tartare. It must be poured with a quill egg. <laughs> 